Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, I'm just going to be going through a bunch of different stuff from the recent update. I was away for the weekend, so all the videos over the weekend were pre-recorded, but I just wanted to go through some extra stuff that came um, with the update and all that sort of thing and go through it. So let's get into the video. So the first thing I came up with while I was away, I had too much time to think is, I was like, how can we make things more exciting for you guys, the viewers? And I was like, I know what we can do. Every video we can do a single pull. Um, I wanna check the odds, I wanna check the odds first. Let's let's check what the odds are. Uh, Elite Heroes, 4.6%. So every video, what we'll do is we'll do a single pull. Um, and I mean, I, I do probably average out about two videos a day, so we'll, we'll get a fair few in there. Um, some videos I may miss out on doing this, but I'll try and remember every video to do a single pull. And if that single pull becomes a um, purple hero, we'll do a $20 giveaway for the video. If it's a Celestial or Hypergene, we'll do a $100 giveaway for that video. So every video, or most videos, we will do that. Um, what I'll end up doing is, because it's gonna be too hard to do like giveaway, like announce the winner in videos, what I'll do is I'll do the winner uh, as community posts. So I'll just do the draw online. Uh, I'll take a screenshot of it and then I'll post it as community posts to let you guys know who won. And then I'll get them to obviously edit their post and then I can give them um, the prize that way. But that's, that's what I'm thinking. I think it's a bit of fun. Let me know what you guys think. Here we go for this one. We'll kick it off with this one. It's a green. You know what? Because it's the first one, we'll do three pulls because we've got three and hopefully we can get a purple. Well, well, that's just disgusting. <laughs> that is disgusting. Well, no giveaway for this one, but uh, keep an eye out. Every video, we'll do a single pull. Hopefully, we get a purple soon, and then there'll be $20 giveaways, like I said, and Celestial Hypergenes will do $100 giveaways. Just something a little bit fun to, you know, entice you guys um, and hopefully give you guys something nice. But um, but yeah, once we do actually get a purple on one of the videos, uh, we'll get, you know, screw it, let's do one more. I know this is wasteful. Yeah, that was 300 diamonds. I, I'm, try, I'm trying to give you guys stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, this is this is how desperate I'm getting. I just want to, I just want to let you guys have a win. Let's do a temple. If we get a purple here. There we go. Okay, we got a purple. <laughs> so that's going to be the system. We're going to like it. Not too bad. Um, so this one is going to be a $20 giveaway video. So... Uh, leave a comment on this video to enter the draw. That's pretty much it. All the details will be in the description. I think I'm going to leave these for like one to two days. I'll leave the exact date in the description. Um, but it'll only be like one to two days and then I'll announce the winner and put it over as a community post. Um, I just figured it adds a bit of fun to the videos for you guys. Let me know what you think once again. But this one, leave a comment, any comment. Uh, duplicate comments don't get multiple entries. But leave a comment and then we'll do a draw and... Uh, yeah, good luck to everyone. $20 giveaway this video. Okay, that's something I was thinking about. Obviously, in future videos, it's going to get quicker. I was trying to explain the system in this one. So, now as we move on from that, but but from now on in, we'll just do like a single pull. Um, otherwise, I'll, I'll end up going broke, giving you guys cash. <laughs> Especially if we get some big celestial pulls. Anyway, uh, moving on to it, this, uh, what I wanted to cover was there's a few things. So first up, there's some free stuff for you guys. If you haven't seen it, if we go to the visiting merchants, the limited offers here, uh, this one is free. It's got another about three to four days left. Gives you one of those chests, which is really nice. That's the ones that contain all these goodies. Um, I'm sort of leaning in towards dust on some of my accounts at the moment because I'm so far into the game, it gives a lot of dust. I like the gold ones. These are not too bad either, but I, mm, I like, I toss up between the three of them on all my accounts, but uh, summons are probably the worst value in my opinion. But that is that one, go ahead and pick that up. Uh, just looking at my notes, oh, this is another one. The uh, the Peaks of Time added the Wandering Balloon, uh, which is the Depths of Time. Now this, as you can see, it doesn't have a time limit or anything. Once you enter it, it's because uh, I've entered it on one of my other accounts, it gives you 14 days to complete it. Now, I do have a depths of time guide out, which for when it was the Voyage of Wonders, and it's exactly the same. So it's basically, I think what they're going to use this is, this is going to be, you know, all the sort of unique ones, even though the Forgotten Mine is a Voyage of Wonders. Um, and then this one's going to be different ones they update and uh, put them with a time base. I think they're just going to do it as a way to give us more content to do and more goodies to get, but they're just going to reuse the old Voyage of Wonders to do it. And like I said, once you click that and actually enter it, screw it, we'll just do it. Um, once I hit begin, uh, you're currently exploring, yeah, whatever. Let's go into it. 
and then yada 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 so this is an old one that we've done i do have a guide out for it it's still relevant um, but as you can see now it ends in 13 days and 23 hours so from when you click into it you get 14 days to actually complete it so make sure you got time to do it this one really doesn't take too long you can probably knock it out in about 10 15 minutes and it's no drama so didn't scale too hard for me either so not bad just extra goodies as you can see this one we get some scrolls uh some upgrade tokens and then some food and some gold so not bad for just free extra stuff to do pretty happy with it um with these ones though if you finish this adventure uh it's sc this these scale to your account and if you say um finish it and then start it again it's going to rescale um all that goes through in the information but that's pretty much the gist of it not too bad extra free goodies now i'm just going to quickly jump over to the test server to have a look at something there okay here on the test server if we go to merchants this isn't actually on the the global server yet um if we go to the where is it noble society and then down here twisted bounties this was the new one they're talking about it's basically the same as the champions of its uh of Asperia and regal rewards except regal rewards are for summons Asperia is for dust and this one is for experience now experience is a much more end game thing um for a lot of people for the progression to 240 and then probably up to about like level 270 um it's going to be dust being the main issue but what eventually uh experience will be an issue so it will be nice to pick up these once again it's just handy having more free stuff to get um you get points when you complete when you complete uh some of these so you will get points from doing these um and then it will take you use those points to scale through this um, once again, if you're going to purchase these, I'd wait until you max it out to make sure you will max it out before you go ahead and purchase them. Um, but besides that, it's free goodies. Uh, like, I really like these things. It's free stuff for free to play, so it speeds up free to play, and it further speeds up pay to win. But in my opinion, everyone's getting sped up, so it's just happy days. So I like it. It's cool. Now we'll jump back over to the other server, the, the global server, and have a look at something else there. Okay, here we are back over on global server. Obviously, with the update, uh, we did get the the new hero Anarchy, and we did get the changes to K Source. So I want to look at K Source at the end of this video on my Celestial Hub Gen account because he's that mythic and he's like my main Mauler carry for the Mauler Tower, and it's Mauler Tower Day. Uh, so I want to go through and test that. But first of all, with Anarchy, um, because he has this thing where he puts his ring around himself, um, I just think he's going to be really good with melee cleave teams. I'm actually consider pivoting the Gwyneth account to go ahead and be a um, a Mauler summoning account because I really, if we look at the heroes, if we look at the wish list, um, I've only got Antandra in there just to get it finished, but Scrag has the knockbacks as well, which works with the Gwyneth, which was which is what this account is about. Um, she's just in there because she's an absolute beast. Um, I could probably try the chicken as well, but you know I want to try Scrag. I want to try Titus on this account because he knocks back as well, and obviously this guy looks like an absolute beast with Gwyneth. So I really want to test that. So I'm going to pivot the Gwyneth account. I think maybe I'll wait until I get my last Hendrick, and then we'll pivot and go for Maulers because uh, everyone wants to see Mauler action because they're typically not summoned for and I'd love to get some action on this account for them but I couldn't I didn't have him in Arcane Labyrinth and I didn't have any friends well I didn't when I checked last yeah I don't have any friends that I can mercenary him off of on any of my accounts but if we go here to the peaks of time uh, the, which one was it it was which one am I exploring on this account I should be exploring one be right back oh no i won't when i started this i lost the one i had we'll be right back oh my god rip okay we finally got it so before the video i just re-rolled on one of these to get anarchy in the team so that i could test him and then obviously when we went into the wandering balloon so accepting one of these actually kicks you out of your void uh of your um peaks of time battles so keep that in mind but i just retried it then <laughs> finally got it massive fail by me but if we go over here i'm going to pick him up right there throw him into the combo um and what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and attack here and the main thing with this guy that i wanted to check and this was the main thing on whether i actually built him in the gwyneth account was he puts down a ring around himself which increases um I think it's attack power and haste and reduces damage taken by anyone that falls into the ring. Um, it scales better with melee heroes. But my big thing was I wanted to test, say, something like this. If we drop him, 
This obviously leaves us without a faction bonus, but something like this, just to max out the haste capabilities of a Gwyneth. So you've got haste coming from Arthur, haste coming from him, haste coming from Lyca. Obviously you don't need Lyca in here. I can just quite happily leave Rowan or maybe even a Strilda in there or something like that. Um, but obviously his ult knocks back, which is fantastic. But then he's going to put that ring around and it's just basically trying to max out the speed and damage of the Gwyneth. And this is what I really want to use him in. So I just wanted to go here. I think I've got it off of auto. And I just wanted to see, like, she shoots. The problem is we kill things super quick. But, like, as soon as he puts that ring down, she starts shooting super fast. So what we're going to do is let's just, let's just quickly work our way up to the big boss and see if they can survive longer so we can see a couple more arrows. So let's just go begin. Once again, once that ring goes down, like, I'm leaving it on times two speed because that's where you can judge it off of what she normally attacks. Um, let's just, let's see if we can not pick up that, no, we have to pick it up. Intellect heroes because we don't have any. And we can go up to this one. Let's see if these guys live a bit longer so we can see how much, see, see some fast shooting action. I don't think they will live long enough. Oh my god, Gwyneth just shreds in that. But basically, what I'm trying to get across there is, I will try and get a, a strong mercenary one to use, but all I was trying to get across there was the fact that his ring does actually land around the hero behind him, being the Gwyneth, and increase her attack speed and her attack. So I think it's going to be awesome. I will do more testing on that, but I just, if anyone was curious about that, it does work, so I'm pretty pumped about it. That is that. Now we're just going to quickly log over to the Celestial Hyper Gene account and have a play around with K-Source. Okay, so here we are. This is just going to be a first little test of K-Source. I've heard from some people on the Grapevine just over the last couple of days that they reckon he's doing really well as a carry in the tower. I'll have to wait until I get him ascended to actually test him as a carry in campaign against other things on this account. He is ascended on my main account, but that is just so far over leveled for the stage it's at. I thought it just wouldn't be a fun test. Mola Tower is the one that I really struggle in here. And the thing with K-Source is he, you want him to stay back because you just want to keep him throwing axes at everyone. And when he used to jump on people, it just sucked. So I definitely think this is a huge K-Source buff. As you can see, I can probably take him to Mythic Plus now. We're two copies away from Ascended. I think I'm just going to pick him up from the Labyrinth Store um, over the next two refreshes. So I get this one here and we're at 63. So hopefully in the next 12 days or so, I should be able to get him Ascended. And then we can do a good test of him on this account. But let's just go over there and let's just have a quick check because this is my hardest tower at the moment. Uh, what I ideally want to have is just him in the back middle shredding people with Sophia in there is really nice. And then obviously a thick Brutus at the front and then you've also got the Titus at the front pushing him back. That's pretty much what I'm using at the moment. Let's see how he does for damage. Uh, I really want to see him. Uh, he gets banished. Rip. That's going to be bad for his positioning. He's no longer in the thingy thingy, but uh, you know, you get that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bad stage for trying to demonstrate him. Uh, is there anything? So, so we miss out on the stun there. Big rips. Actual big rips. Let's just do it this way. See if we can get... Maybe I'll sort the Sophia around. Unfortunately, he's just going to get banished. So we need to get to the next stage. Is the, is the basic gist of what's going on in this one. Uh, hopefully Titus can carry it. I don't have, I don't actually have uh, artifacts on anyone besides K-Source. I put the, um, the whatchamacallit one on him. The old whatchamacallit. You know the one. Conviction. Because I thought now that he stays at range, the convic conviction should be alright for him. Um, can Totem Dude actually do this? No, he can't. Alright. We'll be back once I get through this stage and we can actually test K-Source. Okay, got through that stage onto a, a forks free, a banish free stage. Uh, this one's kind of annoying because it does have the Euron. I'm gonna see if we can knock him back uh, or stun him, either of the two, so that we can shred here. If not, we'll just put case or stand the back here and try and kill the Arden. Let's see if we do stop it. We no, he still gets it. So we're gonna retry. Man, it's gonna be it's, <laughs> it's just gonna be trouble keeping him at range. So let's have a look. So if they don't get rooted. Okay, we get interrupted by the stomp as well. So everything not working well for K-Source. Let's see if his ult can do some damage at least. If he gets around to it. If Sophia doesn't kill everyone. Ooh, I mean he deleted everyone as soon as he did that. I'm curious to see that damage. Okay, he skyrocketed through the damage charts considering he did nothing before that. Let's have... Let, I'm actually liking this. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, let's see. 
I'm really keen to see this ultimate. I might actually slow it down when we get to his ultimate. I mean, just the normal axe is doing some really nice damage. I like the new animation on the normal axes. Here we go. Okay, didn't do crazy things. I was hoping it would kill the Nara as well. But all around, let's check his damage. Obviously, he is mythic. No one else is. But still, he's doing some really nice cleave damage. I do like it. If nothing else, I feel like he's a really good damage dealer for this, especially when you combine him with Sophia. Um, obviously, Sophia has a little stun. You've got that. Uh, I kind of like it. Th these three I really like for the tower now. These three. I really like Titus as well. He gives that bit of extra CC. Um, so it's not too bad. Let's check, take a look here. Yeah, let's just leave it like this. He's going to get banished, which kind of sucks. And it's going to affect him. But let's see if we can actually clear the stage anyway. Titus, please ult. Don't die. Okay, that was a case I was ult. Didn't do too much. Didn't break the world. Can we please kill that Nara? Okay, or we'll just throw we'll just we'll just throw axes at nothing. It's fine, okay, so it's fine. Just throw them at nothing. It's all good. Uh let's let's do it down here. Let's see if this works. I just want Titus to survive. I really need Titus to survive a bit in this one. Good, we got the kill there. Landed the kill on the Verk, which is nice. Okay, so it's going to get dropped. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Let's check damage. I mean, he is mythic, but it's not too bad. I, like, I definitely think it's a good change, and it gives it, makes him a good user of Conviction. So in this one, like, I'd leave Jura's Eye on um, Titus so that he can crit and then get fa attack faster. I leave Blade on her because she can just absolutely destroy things at the end, but Conviction just works well on him now that he doesn't, doesn't jump into melee. So... It's so the way I'm thinking we're going to leave it. Uh, I just... <laughs> I really like Anarchy because this Mola Tower is... it. I don't know about you guys. It's by far the worst tower in my opinion. Like the, the most annoying. You don't have the team synergies. It's just every Mola is just like, oh, let's do some damage. And that's about it. It's like they're all one trick ponies. Okay, Sophia's going to ult and kill everyone, which is good. Boom. Oh well, I'm not going to try too long. I just wanted to have a quick look at K-Source. We will do a full like review on him once I get him ascended. But um, but overall, I do think it's a good change to K-Source. I think it makes him much more viable now. So I'm pretty happy with that. Sophia, please ult and don't die. Ah, Sylvana killed her. Tassie sleeps us. Oh, the K-Source ult, ult came out there. Brutus spins. No, we're not going to do it. Oh, he's healing, he's healing a big bit. Oh, get your ult off, please. Please ult. Please. Do it. Kill him. Oh my god, that ult didn't do anywhere near enough damage. Anyway, I thought it would have done a truckload considering it was five of them going at the one enemy. Anyway, that, that is going to be where we leave it. Just wanted to have a quick look at it, like I said. But we will do more in case. So, it's, so overall... I think Anarchy's not going to be like a game-breaking hero, but I definitely think he has synergy with the uh, with the Gwyneth, which I'm pretty pumped about. So we will start going for that. And the K-Source, overall a buff. How much of a buff, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully we can start seeing some people use him in the, uh, in the challenges arena. Uh, but hey, we'll have to see how we go. But anyway, that is going to be it. That's all the updated stuff for this one. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.